now different type of uh, diagrams flow charts process right flow chart may suppose the flow chart of e governance right service delivery right then process process maybe the process uh, with respect to uh, see <coughs> education or the process with respect to health right maybe some technology the process of some technology right maps different maps maps of india and inside india also maps of different part of india and map of a particular continent map of a particular uh, region of the world map of particular uh, water body venn diagram we can use like okay and i'll give you the examples okay don't worry about the examples comparison charts we can use timelines we can use cycles different cycles we can use right overview the complete overview of the topic and acronyms also we can give in the diagram format right so all of this we can do in the diagram now why we use, we need to use the diagram you already explained this point Uh, detailing in short so any big complex concept we can give in the short form it is uh, more creative and more attractive in nature it can fill up the space sometime what happens we don't have much of the content the content is less so here we can even use the diagram so diagram we can use either to reduce the uh, time okay or to fill up the space okay sometime we can use a diagram to explain the large content into short space and sometime we can use it otherwise we can use when we want to have a small piece of information and we want to look it big so even if you have the shortage of content at that time also you can use the diagram okay so both ways it can be used right competitive advantage definitely if you are drawing the relevant diagram it is simpler for you it is more uh, attractive for your uh, in your copy and it will reduce the time mostly i have seen if you write in the point format paragraph format then it is taking more time where to use in which cases we should use the diagrams number 1 to club various sub points in the body of the answer support suppose uh, uh, there is a question about uh, the features the consequences and the suggestions so you can make three boxes the features of the uh, program suppose mg narega okay so mg narega features mg narega impacts or the consequences and third the suggestions for the mg narega so you can make three boxes either in the vertical manner or in the horizontal manner okay so you can even club the entire answer in the form of the diagram right you can use the you know challenges part the advantages part you know any particular sub topic of a question you can give in the diagram format then introduction yes in the introduction you can give the timeline suppose you writing the introduction of uh, historical evolution so historical evolution mein you can give the timeline uh, ancient medieval modern okay in the conclusion also you are writing the way forward so he, there also you can use this okay i will give you the examples after some time interlinkages definitely the interlinkage is the best possible manner is the diagram only now what to write in the diagram the big question is two questions that i come across from the students is number 1 if we are making the diagram should we still write the point in the answer should we still explain those point in the answer the second question that i come come across is sir what exactly to write in the in the diagram <coughs> okay so number 1 if you are writing something in the diagram don't explain it again don't explain it again that will unnecessarily occupy the space and that is not going to help you in any way okay so once you have put some point in the diagram that is enough that is sufficient no need to explain it explain it further okay number 2 sir what exactly should i write in the diagram should i write uh, the headings or sub should i write the data i will say you should write the keywords as much as possible okay don't write the sentences don't write the filler words okay don't write any extra content just the keyword to the point okay you can add the data okay suppose uh, the diagram is about role of agriculture so what you can see you can say employment so in the bracket 55% of india's population bracket closed exports bracket this much this much a percentage of the 
total exports or suppose you are writing the way forward suppose you are writing the way forward of green economy right so here there you can write the examples the case studies so you can write we can take the steps like uh, south korea in the bracket known for renewable energy or role model for renewable energy so you can use the data you can use the example you can use the role models this is how you can use these uh, value addition tools in the diagram okay so all the marks and answer tools all the marks maximize the tools as much as possible you should use in the form of diagrams okay that will give more visibility you know even if the examiner is not reading the content but examiner is bound to read the diagram because it is very easy it is not cluttered it is neat and clean right now what if we don't use the diagrams your answer will be very simple answer simple answer is not a bad answer but it yes it is an average answer average answer average marks lacks attractiveness and sometimes there are some many complex concept which if you start writing in the form of uh, uh, paragraph it becomes very very complicated it becomes very very difficult right difficult to explain within given time difficult to explain within given space so you can avoid uh, paragraph or point format in the complex concept okay i will give you the example very soon right boring presentation time consuming okay so all of this will happen okay do don'ts what you should not do so number 1 don't complicate the diagram never if you make the complicated diagram again it is not going to serve your purpose it will take more time it will take uh, uh, you know more attention like not like it will irritate the irritate the examiner okay and uh, it should be neat and clean as much as possible okay don't use more than one color use simple one color only you can use the pencil pencil is allowed okay pencil you can use but don't don't use it like uh, multiple colors like black and green uh sorry black and blue blue right because that will occupy extra time you don't have the time to exchange the pen in the exam hall you have to be practical you are not sitting outside the exam hall in the exam hall every minute is important so don't change your pen in the making of diagram uh, i will say you should make with the help of the pencil as much as possible with the help of the pencil okay then relevancy is very very important okay make any figure only and only if it is relevant don't make it unnecessary uh, like unnecessarily just for the sake of making it make it only and only if it is necessary not otherwise right and this is very important naming the the figure naming it okay and giving the number like figure number 1 impacts of disaster so you should give the figure number and you should give the name of the particular figure and if possible put in the box format putting in the box format makes it more you know more clear it makes it you know separate looks very attractive again don't uh, use multiple pens only pencil pencil is sufficient okay and most importantly practice as much as possible try and make more and more diagrams okay and you know you can search more diagrams on the google images i will i will tell and i'll come okay so so far i was just briefing you about the diagrams now i'll i'll show you some real practical diagram which you can use in your exam okay so just give me a minute i am just uh, changing the slide okay you can make this uh, you can make this kind of diagram okay so what you have to do in this kind of diagram is you have to make three circles circle 1 circle 2 and circle 3 three circles will be reflecting three different features and a combination of all these the on all, all these three circle will point out to something it will point out to something it will be the ultimate outcome so let us see <coughs> how can we make okay let us see the practically mm, yeah i think uh, i have to change the sharing model okay just a minute
hmm. so you can make it for example you can make uh, three circles okay if you are uh, having the pen and paper then you should try it right now i will recommend it okay you should practice because practice only makes a man perfect okay suppose uh, we want to talk about the political uh, the gender empowerment okay so political empowerment social empowerment economic empowerment this is gender empowerment okay political social economic combine these three is the political uh, is the gender empowerment so what we will do we will write the figure 1 gender empowerment so this giving figure number is very important as i already spoken to you as i already told you about this right giving figure number naming it very important and uh, in the exam in your answer sheet possibly you should put in the box format like this now it looks very attractive okay you have to do practice don't use uh, you know scalar don't use uh, any geometric uh, thing don't use all of this okay don't use any geometric instrument make with the help of your hand only you should practice making it with the with the help of your hand only that will save your time and it is quite possible with the help of some practice you don't need to have any specific uh, skill set for this okay and if you are learning something new please say bomb okay bulb on moment if you are learning something new please say bomb bulb on moment you already know about it right okay wonderful now see it is very simple in every in every answer that you write in the notes that you make when you open the newspaper always think what kind of diagram i can make earlier i spoken to you i already told you that you should look into data you should look into example case studies look into the keywords now start looking into the diagrams what kind of diagram i can use okay what can what kind of diagram i can use okay wonderful let's get back to our ppt so this is one venn diagram okay uh, karunesh is asking should figure number continue across all questions or start with figure number 1 in each question mm, in each question figure number 1 that is more appropriate okay good governance now see uh, how many component good governance has it has eight components so you can use any geometrical figure to, to represent the important features so what we call this geometrical figure what do we call this geometrical figure kya bolte hain isko octagon right so we can use this kind of octagon okay again don't use any uh, geometrical instrument okay use it with the help of your hand only okay start making it start practicing it okay so these are the eight component okay now tell me what other component uh, sorry what other uh, uh, where else we can use it and please excuse me in the interest of time uh, i'll be bit fast okay and i am not a very good uh, drawer i am not good i am not a very good artist so please excuse me if i am not perfect okay <laughs> so i'll try my best please help me okay uh okay sorry am i right ho gaya 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yeah it is not perfect i know i'm just trying okay <laughs> ngo characteristics yes absolutely we can use ngo characteristics we can make a small small arrows spokes right and then we can use 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सिंपल ओके ट्राई एंड प्रैक्टिस इट ओके फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन बेनिफिट अंशुल वेरी गुड वी कैन यूज इट एक्सप्लेनिंग कोविड नाइनटीन सिम्टम्स ओके ज्योति वेरी गुड कमिंग बैक सो गुड गवर्नेंस इज समथिंग विच इज द बेस्ट मॉडल यू कैन यूज ओके नाउ इफ यू हैव समथिंग लाइक फोर डायमेंशन ऑफ फूड सिक्योरिटी और से इवन फोर डायमेंशन ऑफ जेंडर एम्पावरमेंट यू कैन यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ डायग्राम ओके यू कैन यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ डायग्राम ओके सो एवेलेबिलिटी एक्सेसिबिलिटी स्टेबिलिटी यूटिलाइजेशन एंड यू कैन नाइज यू कैन राइट स्मॉल स्मॉल पॉइंट ओवर हियर ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन राइट अबाउट इट सो कैन यू गिव सम एग्जाम्पल वेयर वी कैन यूज इन सम टॉपिक प्लीज नेम सम टॉपिक वेयर वी कैन यूज दिस apart from this for security please type in the chat box i am using the <laughs> tools okay <laughs> because even i have not done sufficient practice about it so i don't want to draw bad figures for you Okay, can you give some example where we can use this? Disaster preparedness, urbanization, we can use it. Okay. Even uh, <coughs> we can use it. Uh, yes, we can use it. Maybe uh, with respect to uh, political timeline. 1947 to 1967, 1967 to 1991, 1991 to 2014, 2014 to now. Suppose there is a question about uh, federalism, right? so in the federalism you can use this for example uh from 1947 to 1967 it was uh, in fact uh, there was no necess necessity of federalism it was single party rule mostly right then uh, from 1967 to 1991 it was confrontational federalism from 1990 91 to 2014 confrontational plus we started talking about cooperative and now we are talking about cooperative plus competitive federalism so to show this journey we can make now put this into the box you know it is very fluid right we are not uh, sticking to any particular format like it depends upon the information that we have it depends upon the requirement of the question right and here i don't have the space so otherwise i could have written uh like uh, i i could have written the figure number 1 evolution of federalism in india since independence something like that phases of population growth very good inclusive growth left wing extremism sdg yes we can use absolutely now you have a very good idea about where we can use it right wonderful wonderful are you learning something everyone see try to implement this whatever we are discussing right now try to implement this and i am giving you a very small assignment are you ready for the assignment are you ready for the assignment everyone please type in the chat box yes no uh okay wonderful question is uh, should we explain diagram points again in writing no arjun i have already spoken about it no need to explain it okay don't repeat assignment is very simple 
नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज वेन यू स्टार्ट योर स्टडी इन द मॉर्निंग मेक फाइव डायग्राम्स स्टार्ट योर डे विथ फाइव डायग्राम्स विद इन थर्टी डेज योर डायग्राम स्किल्स विल बी वंडरफुल आफ्टर दैट दो डायग्राम विल ऑटोमेटिकली बी कमिंग टू योर माइंड वेन एवर यू प्रिपेयर नोट वेन एवर यू रीड करंट अफेयर्स वेन एवर यू राइट गुड आंसर वट एवर यू डू बट इन द मॉर्निंग स्टार्ट योर डे विद फाइव डायग्राम्स हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर टेकिंग दिस चैलेंज हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर टेकिंग ऑन दिस चैलेंज ओके शोभित ओनली शोभित इज टेकिंग साहिल ओके नाजबुल अंशुल सोजन्या मधु अभिषेक सिमरन वंडरफुल ओरोशा बेनर्जी खुशबू वंडरफुल 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 सो नाउ लेटस सी नेक्स्ट फूड सिक्योरिटी दिस इज अनदर वे टू एक्सप्लेन द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट दिस इज अनदर वे ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन सी कॉन्सेप्ट इज सेम बस प्रेजेंटेशन इज डिफरेंट कैन वी ट्राई दिस प्रेजेंटेशन But see, please see this presentation again. Uh, we have four boxes, right? Four rectangles, basically, and uh, then we, in the center we have one rectangle, right? Is it helping you, everyone? Should I just explain the ready-made figures, or should I draw in front of you? What do you think? It, should drawing helping you? is drawing helping you everyone or should i just explain and skip drawing i think drawing will deepen your concept it will make uh, you more clear about this right looks interesting okay is a question mm ishwar sir these type of diagrams took a lot of time example making five circle and connecting them so please suggest see ishwar you don't have to do in every in every question maybe in entire uh, answer sheet you can make only one diagram of this type okay don't repeat this diagram the diagram which are to be repeated i will tell you after some time these are some you know i know they they these might be some time consuming looks to be time consuming but looks to be very very attractive as well so don't draw at multiple places okay karuna is saying draw by hand okay please you should try that okay because it will take more time karunesh okay so can you give some example suppose we can write with respect to financial inclusion okay accessibility availability you can write point number 1 2 1 2 then affordability and then utilization okay you can try this out okay see we we have the choice not to draw it's not that uh, whatever diagram i am discussing you have to draw every diagram yes so arjun you are absolutely right you have a choice but you should know okay this is another way of presentation okay you make uh, these uh, boxes food availability food access food utilization and then make these small small rectangles and then put it in the uh, complete uh, box okay this is another view of presentation right <coughs> pyramid shape you can also use pyramid shape or uh, triangular shape okay pyramid shape okay right success of 5g it will depend upon affordable cost spectrum and telecom infrastructure success of 5g in fact here you should write success of, success of 5g in the middle you should replace this okay so success of 5g you should write in the center and then spectrum it will depend upon spectrum it will depend upon affordable cost and it will depend upon the telegram infrastructure telecom infrastructure overview if you want to give the overview of something 
you can use this right suppose uh, you are uh, writing about uh, basic infrastructure okay you want to you know start your answer with the introduction through diagram so you can write about this basic structure doctrine significance protection from authoritarian regime criticism non defined in law implication conflict between organs of government just these three line okay but it will need lot of practice it will need clarity of thought last year there was a question about centralizing tendencies of india right and every year there is a question about conflict between judiciary and the executive conflict between judiciary and the parliament judicial uh, overreach all of that all of that many times there is a direct question about basic structure in all those questions in all those type of questions you can draw this kind of diagram the basic structure doctrine okay so you can use uh, in the introduction and you can use in the body you can use in the conclusion right you can use the acronyms in the diagrams suppose this uh, smart governance you can make this kind of uh, uh, diagram simple okay as specific m measurable a achievable r realistic t time table time bound okay so you can use this kind of diagram in a very simplistic manner acronyms okay this is uh, that i already indicated earlier many times uh, this is uh, something which is very very important uh, for the very very complicated concept for very very complex and lengthy concept what you can do you can make uh, four boxes and then you can you know give the heading to each box and you can make i know it will be difficult to draw in uh, horizontal form uh, uh, in the vertical shape so you can draw in the horizontal shape so don't use the vertical shape rather you should use the horizontal shape in this case right suppose you are writing about uh, you know two dimensions of air pollution this diagram i already shown you multiple times air pollution so you can make these two boxes okay now you will say sir uh, will it save time yes it will save time because if you start writing in the vertical format in the simpler you know format it will occupy lot of space and even you have to write the filler words and all but if you write in this format you don't have to write the filler words you just write the keywords and it will be very very space saving as well as time saving so you can write you can see the air pollution causes in india the climatic factors and the man made factors right issues in e governance suppose you are writing this answer you can make this kind of uh, you know tree and branch okay tree and branch diagram okay this diagram again i am showing all of this i am already including all of this in the maze booster batch in the maze booster batch we are already including we are already discussing through these diagrams wherever possible right but now you start practicing them in, into other concept wherever possible right issues in e governance demand side supply side now what is the another advantage of using the diagram the another advantage of using the diagram is number 1 it will propel you to think through the dimensions right it will propel you to think through the dimensions number 2 it will basically make a very clear difference or very clear separation between the dimension and the point so you will be better able to present your answer your brainstorming can be much better right so you can think and brainstorm very very systematically your organization of answer will be very very systematic structuring of answer will be very very systematic are you getting my friends are you getting what i'm trying to say your structuring of answer will be very very systematic through the diagrams right this issues in rt rt working i have already shown in the mains booster multiple times so again this is another example you can use the boxes you can use the boxes to show the different uh, type of dimensions in the same topic right bureaucratic structure weber in bureaucratic structure this is the these are the features these are the features of Web weber okay now now you can say sir it will take more time it will take more time right but again i am not saying to draw in every question 
maybe in a whole answer sheet you can make only one uh, this kind of table this kind of matrix i call this matrix this is the matrix so matrix shape you can make only one in the entire uh, discussion in the entire paper not no need to make multiple and maybe you can make a small matrix you can make uh, only uh, six boxes no need to make uh, all these 12 boxes right but i am 100% sure you will not find all these diagrams other way otherwise you will not find other uh, you you go to any any place these are the diagram which is uh, you know i have been trying to make i have been innovating in my lectures and all so this this will make your answer very very unique okay so don't uh, think that uh, these diagrams are available in plenty or these diagrams are being used by many people most of the people they are using sunday diagrams Ma many of you are also using sunday diagrams that is very common form of diagrams which people are using but how many of you people are using the diagram that i am telling you matrix diagram the boxes okay all of that right timeline timeline you can use right timeline of local self government evolution in india you can use in the introduction you can use in the body part you can use in uh, sub topic right timeline suppose timeline of uh, poverty initiatives timeline of uh, food security timeline of financial inclusion timeline of parliament or timeline of uh, um, you know federalism you can use multiple type of timelines wherever possible right uh, this uh, tree branch model you can use uh, whenever you are having a space shortage or you want to do it fast simple why british started local self bodies one number one number two number three number four number five simple very very simple right and with the help of practice it will it will not take much time it will not take much time okay so how do you do it simply draw a line like this and you start writing number one number two number three number four number five no need to make complication no it will not uh, consume your extra time but definitely it will give you extra presentation you can suppose uh, write the consequences of uh, nexalism so right okay uh, it is poor governance low human development indicators now you are using the keywords low human development indicators and then give the example or some data right some data like uh, their education is the literacy rate is i i am not exactly aware, aware about the data but i am just giving it hypothetically literacy only 40% versus 70% national literacy rate so whenever you are writing the data try to make a comparison i already spoken uh, it's about it earlier whenever you are giving the data you know try and make the comparison you are saying literacy is only 40% if you are aware about what is the literacy of the nation then you can compare it then and there only it will give you more uh, credibility it will uh, um, you know make your point more clear okay poor governance low hdi then uh, re rebellious nature of the people rebellion okay civil war okay and so on right poor uh, tax collection and all so you can nice this point this kind of point okay this is a uh, very for the sevatta model sevatta model ke liye hai and this is the data given by the the diagram is given by the government this is available in the government documents right so you can use this diagram you can make this diagram like city and charter city and empowerment public grievance redressal it addresses the satisfaction service delivery capacity it increases the capacity right and ultimately all of this lead to improvement in the quality of public service delivery these are the intent, intended outcome of the sevottam implementation now you can say again you can say sir this looks to be very very complicated i know but these are the diagram given by the government in its documents rather than giving the excuse that this is so complicated learn them make them in the exam hall you will get extra marks those extra marks will help you get a good rank 
get uh, get IAS rank to you. So rather than giving the excuse, sir, these are complicated. You know, learn them. Make your make your answers look different. Right? Are you getting? So don't uh, uh, like for the sake of simplicity. You know, for the sake of simplicity, don't uh, just draw the very common diagram which everyone can draw. Maintain some uniqueness you know, in your answers. Are you getting everyone? So I'm not giving you the easy way. Easy way is very simple. Everyone can follow. I'm giving you the difficult way, but something which will help you get the extra marks. Getting extra marks will take extra year. So rather than giving extra year, put some extra effort this time only, right? By the way, how many of you are implementing the answer writing hacks that we have given in to you in the master class? How many of you are implementing the hacks? I'm using not all but some okay very helpful in implementing Vijay is using okay wonderful Orusha is using very good Sakshi is using very good Rekha is using very good Khushbu very good wonderful so keep using them right and after today start using this as well start using these diagrams as well right Ishwar Dev, please attend our next master class, right? Next is to show some definition, right? Transparency plus accountability plus city and friendliness is equal to city and charter, right? You can use this kind of, uh, you know, interlinkages. You can use this kind of innovation as well, right? Good governance, again. Transparency plus accountability plus city and friendship, city and charter. So linkage between the good governance and the city and charter, right? Availability, accessibility, affordability. This is geometrical figure, triangle. You can use it in city, city and charter. You can use it in uh, different kind of security, food security, financial security, and all, right? Draw the diagram or draw the maps basically, right? So whenever you are suppose uh, writing any answers with respect to geographical phenomena please learn some diagrams learn some uh, figures geometrical figures like cyclone structure learn them from your prelims books cyclonic structures for example the concept of temperature inversion or resource distribution if you have to show if you have to show resource distribution suppose distribution of solar energy capacity in India So make some map and you know put it over there now when you are making the maps make the map of particular region don't make the map of entire India what do I mean by that suppose you are making the uh, you want to you know discuss something about North India so make that map of North India only Suppose you want to discuss about coastal area. So it is about western coast or eastern coast. Depending upon that, you make the diagram or map of that particular coast. Suppose it is about uh, northeast India. So don't make the map of entire India. Only the relevant portion. Only the relevant portion. Right? And how to draw? You can go and search on the YouTube. I will try to share some uh, YouTube uh, link with you. You can, you know, try and make the diagram uh, make the maps of india different parts of india north india south india west india you know coastal india northeast india right southeast asia those regions which are more in news try to make the diagram with you with the help of your hand it will take maximum 30 seconds if you are practice 
if you have sufficient practice but it will definitely help you a lot in your examination are you getting everyone now this sit e governance e governance uh, brings efficiency transparency honesty and accountability it brings improvement in the information delivery and then brings certain participation this is the very good example of interlinkages or the benefits of e governance linking the e governance with the with the certain participation so again i am not saying you should start making this diagram everywhere but maybe in every paper you have 10 of these diagrams which you can use at different places and we will try to give this diagram to in our mains booster batch so those people who are in our mains booster batch we will try to identify at least 10 of these diagrams which you can use at different places in different topic and you can start practicing with the help of your hand you, you can start practicing on a daily basis so this uh, diagram suppose i have already shown you the diagram of sevatta model then this is the diagram of e governance and the citizen participation so these are some of the fundamental diagrams which you can use ongoingly right a uh, diagram about disaster disaster management now this is uh, something which i say complicated diagram avoid this although this looks to be very very det detailed one okay so some of you who have very good uh, speed and all you can try this but i don't suggest even this is very very complicated diagram with respect to disaster management i don't suggest to draw this right uh yeah i will suggest draw this like uh, preparedness it starts from here okay response recovery and prevention this make a circle and uh, you can write four points like this and then you can make this kind of circle arrow this shows the entire mechanism okay yes if you want to show uh, like all of this it will uh, take more time it will be very very complicated some of you might struggle in making this so best way is if you have to make about disaster management cycle this is simple and uh, doable right simple and doable right disaster management cycle stages of evolution stages of stages of evolution suppose uh, stages of evolution of uh, local self government so this is from 1959 to 65 this is very very specific and maybe very very factual so only if you are very very clear suppose you are very very clear about population growth you are very very clear about say uh, any particular you know concept which is very very factual support about uh, food about uh, uh, financial so you can use otherwise not right suggestions you can give in this format maybe you can make a small small boxes life cycles you can use the life cycle of uh, gram panchayat right gram panchayat profiling action plan creation activity output progress reporting geotagging and finance and accounting right which type of diagram which which kind of uh, geometrical figure is this most of these i have already shared in the in the mains booster batch right hexagon yes hexagon very good recommendations if you are giving the recommendations maybe you can categorize the point into two framework i told you already about air pollution two kind of air pollution man made and uh, natural similarly here also you can give give two kind of recommendation sarkaria commission and punji commission sub topics 
suppose uh, you are writing about the challenges with respect to working women you can make one one, one of this uh, sunday diagram this is called sunday diagram very very famous very very uh, overused i will say very very common so many people are using it but still you can use it because it is it is a good it is good one right it is good one right vicious cycle for example it is about period poverty so we have uh, there is a poverty because of poverty the the females they can't afford menstrual products and uh, because of this there is a likelihood of the diseases and because of that uh, it is leading to excess healthcare expenditure and it leads to the dwindling budget and again it leads to the poverty and then can't afford menstrual products and it becomes a vicious cycle so vicious cycle right vicious cycle uh, about period poverty about uh, poverty and climate change vicious cycle uh, agriculture and climate change and so many other things so this kind of cycle you can use in the answers virtuous cycle also you can use for example agricultural finance credit available quality inputs it leads to more production which leads to more jobs income purchasing power more demand then further rise in the production then contribution to the national gdp simple you know just arrow and next step arrow and next step arrow and next step right intended outcome of sevattam i have already shown to you right are you getting something everyone so we have spoken about so many diagrams today i know it, it can be very very uh, information overload as well right it, it can be information overload as well the only way which will help you is to practice it practice it practice it practice it and nothing else so as much as possible practice it apart from this you can use cause and effect suppose poor skills poor skills because of this income it leads to poverty and because of poverty the same person can't afford higher skills and this uh, cycle continues and we can say we can put in the box format and we can say need of skill development in schools figure 1 so with the help of this diagram with the help of this uh, figure you have actually indicated the importance of skill development in the school right now apart from this you can also make some comparison figures comparison figures right so how do we normally compare with the help of some table suppose uh, we are talking about uh, western secularism indian secularism then is it intra religion it is is it uh, inter religion yes or no yes or no 
or I mean you can just use the you know tick or cross right I'm not going into the accuracy of this but I'm just showing you the different models similarly you can use a weighing system right mm, for comparison what you can do you can make a, a small uh, triangle and then you can make a weighing system like this federation in india this is center the powers of the central government they are equal to so many states these are the states this is center this is these are the states so you can make this kind of comparison comparison of powers between the two right you can use in the introduction part suppose as I told you last year there was a question about centralizing tendencies in India why the center is so powerful so in the introduction you can use this to actually give the meaning what this question is trying to say you can make another comparison through uh, maybe use of uh, circles or use of say boxes Nineteen ninety one, two thousand twenty one, Indian economy progress. So, if there is a question about thirty years of LPG, if there is a question about thirty years of LPG, you can say, okay, GDP nineteen ninety one में क्या था? पर कैपिटल इनकम क्या था पॉवर्टी परसेंटेज क्या था यू कैन यू नो गिव द फिगर्स दिस काइंड ऑफ कंपैरिजन यू कैन मेक राइट सो दिस इज शोइंग द लेस साइज दिस इज शोइंग द बिग साइज ओके हाउ मेनी ऑफ आर लर्निंग समथिंग न्यू आई नो दिस इज एंडलेस यू कैन गो ऑन एंड ऑन ऑन एंड ऑन वंडरफुल हब एंड स्पॉक तो यू ऑलरेडी नो संडे डायग्राम और हब स्पॉक और यू कैन मेक दिस काइंड ऑफ डायग्राम or you can make this kind of diagram to explain very simple point to explain a sub, sub topic consequences features right uh you can also make uh, some vertical diagrams for example way forward okay way forward suppose uh, way forward uh, with respect to agriculture sector right inputs me two points uh, you know in technology two points in say harvest two points then marketing two points export two point and others two point only write the keywords only write 
the examples, the data here. Don't try to write everything, right? Okay, wonderful. Thank you for your feedback. I know you are so much excited. Okay, what else? What else? Can you think of some other diagram? Life cycle? Suppose you're talking about uh, woman health challenges. So you can talk in fetus, infant, childhood, adulthood, and old age. You can write one point here fetus may uh, like uh, kya hota hai wo this mein iron deficiency hoti hai hai na anemia right infant mein uh, there is uh, you know poor breast feeding so it leads to multiple type of diseases child child health again one point i mean one point or two point in everywhere okay 